So, this is Vijay Kumar and from Naresh Technologies and today I am going to explain about sequences. So, what is sequence and what for sequences are used? A sequence is a database object, oracle object and the mainly created to generate values for primary key columns. So, it is a database object. The purpose of this object is to generate values per primary key columns. And for example, uh, we, we cannot input the values per primary key columns. Some, some primary key columns we cannot input the values. The values must be automatically generated. For example, when customer do the transaction in bank, the transaction ID should be automatically generated. And when customer uh, purchases items, the bill number should be or invoice number should be generated automatically. So, when you, you go to some online shopping plus you place an order to buy products, that order number should be automatically generated. So, then how to generate this values per primary key columns? So, that can be done that is implemented with the help of sequence object. Okay, then and uh, we will see how to create sequence in Oracle and how to use that sequence to generate values per a primary key column. And the basic syntax of sequence creation is like this. So, the sequence is created with some parameters, one is start with, another one increment by, another one max value, another one min value, cycle no cycle and cache size. So, the sequence is created with these parameters, but if you see this all these parameters are optional parameters, none of the parameter is compulsory. So, all parameters are optional, none of the parameter is compulsory. Start with is optional, increment by is optional, max value is optional, min value, cycle, cache size, all these parameters are optional parameters. Then, <coughs> so like this is start with so, from here you want to start the uh, numbers and every time the value should be incremented by how much and you want to generate the numbers up to what. So, this is max value and we will see min value cycle cache is later. First, let us focus on this 3 start with increment by max value then. So, let us see one example I am creating a sequence create sequence S1 start with is 1, increment by 1, max value 5. That means, the sequence starts from 1 and every time the value is incremented by 1 and generates up to 5. So, I will execute this command, I am executing this command. So, I will go to this SQL plus, I am executing this command. Sequence is created, you can see this, the sequence S1 is created and it is capable of generating numbers starting from 1 and the values are incremented by 1 and generates up to 5. So, created sequence object is created in database. Let us use this sequence for some table for some primary key and you can use this sequence for any table for any primary key. And before using the sequence to generate values for primary key and every sequence will be having two columns and every sequence will be having two pseudo columns. The sequence will be having two pseudo columns, one is curval and another one next val, one is curval, another one next val. And what is this curval returns? Curval returns sequence current value, next val returns sequence next value. Okay? A sequence is having uh, every sequence created with two pseudo columns curval and next val, curval returns current value, next val returns sequence next value. For example, so in our in our case the sequence is S1. So, uh, I want to see the sequence current value, then what you have to say? You have to say S1 dot curval. So, how to call this curval and next val? Sequence name dot curval and sequence name dot next val, S1 dot next val. And whenever you call sequence dot next val, what happens is, so this will generate the next value. 
So, what it does generates next value and returns that value generates next value and return that value to the like application or statement wherever you call sequence dot next value. Suppose for example, I am calling sequence dot next value from insert command. So, it will generate the next value and return that next value to the insert command. So, I am calling the sequence dot next value in update command and when you call sequence dot next value generate the value and return that next value to the update command. Uh, Let us see how, how this works like what I am doing is I am creating a table. I am creating one table student table and in the student table one column is student number, one column is student name, one is student number and one is student name. So, I want to use this sequence to generate values for student number. I do not want to input the value for student number and the student number should be automatically generated. So, to generate the value for student number I want to use the sequence S1. Now, let us see this then create this table. The student table is created and this table is created with two columns. Next I want to insert the data into student table, but while inserting the data I do not want to input the value for student number. The student number should be automatically generated. Let us see here. So, the command is insert command insert into student values. The first one is student number, but I do not want to input the student number. I, I want to use the sequence to generate the value for student number. Say what the sequence name is S1, say S1 dot next val, but I want to input the student name. Student number I do not want to input that is why I am using the sequence to uh, generate the value for student number, but student name I want to input then ampersand student name. Let us execute this command, let us execute this command. If you see this, it is not asking student number, it is asking student name, but what is inserted into student number is value 1. For the first time you are executing insert command, what is inserted into student number is value 1 is inserted. Let us insert uh, student name, enter student name, then. So, one record is inserted, insert second record, then again it is asking student name. So, I am giving the name B. <coughs> next C, next D, next E ok then. So, I inserted 5 records 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and uh, for the first student student number is A for the first student name is A and what is inserted into student number value 1. For the second student name is B what is inserted into student number 2. For third student name is C what is inserted into student number 3 and 4 student name is D what is inserted into student number value 4 and 5th student name is E what is what is inserted into student number value 5 next. I am trying to insert the 5th record I am trying to insert 6th record. So, just give forward slash the previous insert command is re executed then. So, I am giving the value F then see this. So, what it is saying? It is saying sequence S1 dot exceeds max value. So, it is saying sequence S1 dot next val exceeds max value because what is the max value you declared 5. So, the sequence can generate up to 5, but you are trying to generate more than 5. So, that is why it is giving what error. So, it can generate up to 5, but you are trying to uh, generate more than 5. So, that is why it is saying so, sequence next value exceeds max value and what is this is called? This is called no cycle. So, what is this no cycle is the sequence starts from start with and generates up to max value. Once it reaches max value then it stops and further it cannot generate. It can generate up to max value. So, once it reaches max value then it stops and this is called no cycle and the sequence can also be created with cycle option. So, this is no cycle and the sequence can also be created with cycle option. So, what is that cycle option is? If the sequence is created with cycle option, so it starts from start with and generates up to max value. After reaching to the max value, then it, it will be reset to min value. Let us see a cycle option. So, the previous example was no cycle. Next, what I am going to do? 
I am going to demonstrate uh, cycle. So, if sequence is created with cycle option, so how it works like. So, I am creating a sequence, the sequence name is S2 and it starts with 3 and every time the value is incremented by 1 and it generates up to 5. It starts with 3, the values are incremented by 1 and it generates up to 5. Because the sequence is created with cycle option, after reaching to the max value 5, then it will be reset to 1. So, it is reset to min value. Again starts from min and generates up to 5. After reaching to the 5, again it is reset to min 1. Again it generates up to 5. Again it is reset to min. So, if you want to repeat these cycles, then the sequence must be created with cycle option. If you do not want to repeat the cycle, then create the sequence with no cycle option. So, if you want to repeat, then create sequence with cycle option. If you do not want to repeat the cycles, then create sequence with no cycle option. So, I will create this sequence and we will see what is this uh, cache for, we will discuss this later. But here the first cycle starts from start with, sir. the first cycle starts from start with and the remaining cycle starts from min value. Now, let us create this. So, sequence is created. So, I created the sequence S2. Next, I want to use this sequence for student table. We already created a student table and I want to use this sequence S2 for student table to generate the values for student number. But already we inserted some data into student table. I do one thing, I will truncate the data, again I will insert the data and while inserting the data, I use this sequence S2 to generate the values per student number. So, then how to truncate the table? So, table is truncated, all the records are deleted from student table. Now, the student table is empty, see that select start from student table. So, table is empty because the table is truncated. Now, so let us insert the data into student table. Then, so, command is insert command, insert into student values. First one is student number but I do not want to input the student number. I want to generate the values per student number with the help of sequence S2. Say S2 dot next val, S2 dot next val, then I want to input the student number, ampersand student name. I want to input the student name, so ampersand student name. So, executing this command, then it is asking the student name. So, I input A, then next one row created, next B, one row created, next C, one row created, next D, one row created, next E, one row created, F, G, something, H, I, suppose J, suppose K, like this. I inserted some records into this table, for example, F, G, H, I, J, K, something. Next, just go and see the table see the table, select star from student Then, if you see this like data student number, it is started from 3 because you said start with 3, that is why it is started from 3 and next 4, next 5. So, that means it is reached to the maximum. Once after reaching to the maximum, it is reset to 1. So, because after reaching to the maximum, what I said, it will reset to min value. What the min value is? 1. Next, again it starts from 1 and generates up to maximum 5. After reaching to the maximum, again it is reset to min value that is 1. So, this is called cycle option. Okay? It starts from start with and generates up to max. After reaching to the max, then it will be reset to min value. So, if you want to repeat the cycles, then create the sequence with cycle option. So, in this, uh, there, there is one more uh, parameter that is cache for. What is this is? Cache size. So, the cache size is 4, that means the 4 values are pre allocated in cache memory. Like for example, suppose here I am taking a different example, sequence S3, like start with 1, increment by 1, max value is 1000, min value 1, and cycle, <coughs> cache size is 100. What is this cache size 100 is? So, Oracle pre allocates next 100 values in cache memory. Oracle pre allocates 
next 100 values in cache memory. Like suppose here, whenever you call sequence dot next value, so it, it, it goes to the database and get the current value and get the increment by and the values are added, generate the next value. When you call sequence dot next value, so it, it goes to the disk and access the values from disk and generate the next value. But if the values are already pre-allocated in cache memory and every time it does not need to go to the disk to generate the next value. So, because accessing cache memory is much faster than accessing disk. So, this improves what performance, but how many values are pre-allocated in cache memory here according to this uh, declaration. So, 100 values are pre-allocated okay. according to this uh, sequence creation 100 values are pre-allocated in cache memory. What the advantage of pre-allocating in cache memory is this improves performance. So, numbers generated fastly and if I do not declare for example, I will create a sequence like this, I will create a sequence like this, I do not declare the cache size. If you do not declare the cache size by default cache size is 20. So, even if you do not declare cache size also, so the numbers are pre-allocated, but how many values are pre-allocated in cache memory, 20 values are pre-allocated. But if you want more values to be stored in cache memory, then declare cache size. Like I am declaring cache size 100, then how many values are pre-allocated, 100 values are pre-allocated. And one more thing is, this size must be less than 1 cycle. Means here, what is the cycle here? Here the cycle is 1 to 1000. So, this cache size must be less than 1 cycle means it should be less than 1000. So, even if I declare 1000 also, it gives error. Like for example, I will create this sequence, but I am declaring the cache size is 1000. Let us see what happens is what Oracle will accept this or not. I am executing this command. So, see the error message. What it is saying is, it is saying what, what it is saying, then what Oracle is saying is, number 2 cache must be less than 1 cycle. What we are actually saying is number 2 cache must be less than 1 cycle. So, because here the cycle is 1 to 1000, but the given size is also 1000. So, it should be maximum 999. What the purpose? The purpose is just for improving what performance. And thank you, watch, uh, thank you for watching this video.